morning you you <laughs> take early party. I always uh -huh. look beautiful, yeah. baby. Yeah, you do. All right, folks. Today. Good morning, friends. <laughs> Good morning. My lovely wife is here today again. It's not like I ever go anywhere without you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We're like joined at the hip after all these years. I mean, and you know, I got to tell you, it's the yeah. greatest. The greatest thing that ever happened to me in my life was finding a good woman to marry. All right. I mean, you know, you're growing old together. There's always someone there to look after you, tell you you're being foolish. I mean, you know, that kind yeah, of stuff, right? Yeah. I think that's one uh, of the problems with that we have with so many single women these days. Uh, you don't man. have, look, being married is great for all, all the reasons. Right. But one of the other reasons, the main reasons for one of the reasons for me is the fact that you have someone to check your gut with. Um, yeah. So if you're being stupid, there you go. You one person that can call you out and say, you're being stupid. All right. I know, we're not just babbling here. Uh, we're getting to a point. We got a point. We got a point. Uh, I usually keep a constitution, a small one, on my desk, but I couldn't find it. Then after I grabbed my... Uh, Right here. This should be in a, well, I believe it is in every school, but here it is, okay? Now, the section of the Constitution that I am going to talk about is the Second Amendment, okay? Now, just calm down, everybody, especially if you're of the liberal persuasion or the left side of the Uniparty, you probably do not know what the Bill of Rights is for. The Bill of Rights grant citizens certain rights and privileges to protect themselves from an out-of-control government. All right? That's what the Bill of Rights is for. Now, the First <clears throat> Amendment guarantees you the right of freedom of speech. That's not what we're going to talk about. It's not hate speech. It's not misinformation. It's freedom of speech. And People say, oh, you can't yell fire in a crowded movie theater. Well, yes, you can. It's freedom of speech. You can say anything you want. They'll probably arrest you, though, for causing a ruckus. Yeah. But you can say anything you want. Now, the Second Amendment is probably the most important amendment in the Constitution. Now, let me read the whole thing to you guys, okay? A well-regulated militia being necessary being necessary, necessary I got the coffee tongue, right? Being <laughs> necessary to the security of a free state. Now, that's where liberals want to stop you right there. But that's not it. Now, that's a little hashtag thing, right? The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. And that is exactly what they want to do. Now, why is the Second Amendment so important? Crucial. Crucial. It's probably, let's put that back on the bookshelf, it's probably the most important amendment there. Now, you people that live in the cities, you should know this. I lived in Ontario, California, and let me tell you, I heard helicopters 24-7, uh, gunfire 24-7, and the police only show up to write a report. That's right. Now, I live in a small town in rural Texas, and I, I guess maybe a mid-sized town. I don't know. I think it's small. It's a smaller town, yes. You call the police, they're not going to show up. They will not show up uh, at all unless there's money in it for them. You violate a city ordinance, man, you'll have them parked all over your front yard because there's money in it, okay? Now, for me... It's like, I'm not a gunslinger. I'm not out looking to, you know, uh, to begin with, I guess there might be some gangbangers here in this town, but not many. Uh, no. We have a huge problem with animals, all kinds of animals. I have coyotes running around my property sometimes, eating my pumpkins when I grow. Very irritating, right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, we have packs of wild dogs, right? And we do have a bad element. OK, so this whole thing about you don't need to, uh, you know, call the police and all of it. No, they don't show up. All right. We are guaranteed as a free born man, God given right to protect ourselves. OK, and let me tell you something. Our government is literally out of control right now. OK, 
Uh, I was watching this thing. A fella had a, a pet squirrel in his house. They raided his house, right? Searched his house. Five hours to go to the bathroom. He had to be escorted over a squirrel. A freaking squirrel, which they found and killed. That's our law enforcement, right? Enforcing a city ordinance, right? And then there was fines attached, all right? I've never seen the police show up in time to protect anybody. Come on, y'all got YouTube, Facebook, and all of this good stuff. How many how many of these gang fights or whatever you want to call them outside of 7 Eleven? How many of those do you see that's actually broken up by a cop? No. What you generally see is a cop on a traffic stop overreacting and threatening a dude, and well, they trigger maybe. fight and flight, right? But when you see them, like, when so if somebody's getting robbed, they come in just to write the report. Usually it's the guy in the yeah. store defending themselves and fighting for their life. It's not the police. The police is not there to protect you anymore. They're no. just to write up a report and yep. arrest whoever needs to be arrested. Later on down the line so they can make their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, that's it. Yeah, it's it, it's crazy system. And Now, here's what bothers me about you gun grabbers, okay? It's not the fact that you exist. It's the fact that you're just, no, I don't want to say stupid. Let's say uh, misinformed. Oh, I said stupid, didn't I? Did. Yeah. Anyway, you're misinformed, okay? You, Your answer to everything is to disarm law-abiding citizens. No one has ever given me a plan that made any sense whatsoever to disarm the bad guys. You no. gotta, you got to understand that you can go ahead and take everybody's guns, okay? But the ones that you need to be worried about are the people that have the guns illegally. Yep. And they're not going to give nothing because they have no idea who has them. Okay? And they have no plan to take them away from them. And there is no recourse for anybody. So now what you are doing is actually leaving the law-abiding citizens unable to protect themselves right. from the bad element out there in the world. <clears throat> That's not very smart, friends. Not very smart. I lived, like I said, in Ontario, California. For those of you that don't know, it, it's L.A., okay? Now, I had a next-door neighbor. She was a Mexican lady. Uh, well, she just didn't like us. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because I had firearms. And that bothered her to no extent. And I'm like, I don't understand. You should be happy that I'm next to your house, because every firearm I purchase... I have to do a 4473, which is a background check. Yeah. So you know I'm not a criminal, okay? But yet, this house, and I pointed to three different houses with gangbangers living in them with firearms. But those people don't bother you. What bothers you is a law-abiding citizen that just wants to protect himself, his wife, and his four children. I said, you know, ma'am, that makes no sense to me. And I mean, imagine this, okay, so we give them the Second Amendment right to, we give it up, okay? Everybody turns their guns in, and they're not going to, first of all, there is a a whole industry behind firearms, okay? Yeah. So what you're creating is unemployment. Correct. The, you have to follow your ideas all the way through. They can't. Okay. You have to follow the what ifs. I tell you what, I learned that from oh. Dr. Phil. Oh. I used to watch Dr. Phil back <clears throat> in the day when he had, he was smart. And he he was talking about anxiety. Okay, and so right. he would tell the ladies who that he was talking to, what if. Play the what if game, right? And so I use it all the time. What if, okay? What if we do give our Second Amendment right? Well, and nobody gets to have guns. Okay. Who's going to pay for that, the gun that I already bought? Because it's my property. I bought and I bought them legally. Legally. So how much money are you going to give me? Because, you know, every single one of them is priceless possession for me. As you can tell, okay. I do enjoy firearms. Yeah. Okay. I'm an avid shooter. I belong to a gun club. I don't hunt anymore because I'm way too old for that. Okay. But, yeah, yeah I mean, I've never broken a law. Now watch. So... We stop. That means we're gonna halt production of firearms. Yeah. How many factories uh, halt production of ammunition? How many factories? How many jobs are you losing there? And then you have the stores that sell the firearms. How many jobs are getting lost there? No one cares. 
No one thinks it all thinks it all the way through. Nobody. And let me say this, okay? So now only the cops have firearms. So when they show up at your house, you have no recourse, no way to defend no. yourself when the bad guys show up at your house. Correct. You're done. And you can call them, and sure, they'll be there for the paperwork, but they're not going to be there to save you. Yeah, they're not going to be there for anything other than to do the paperwork. And, you know, now the the bad guys know, you know, the... That you're disarmed. You know how the schools are soft targets because it's a gun-free zone? Guess what? Now that no one has firearms, the entire world is a gun-free zone. I had no idea you were so passionate about this. It's because, i tell you why, okay? Why am I so passionate about it? Because it defend, it, the Second Amendment is the protection that we need in order to defend our rights to be able to free speech, free go to religion, church. go to church, do whatever we want, whenever we want. Yep. If, the, if the government shows up with guns, you, you don't have yours. But you know, you know? And, and this is a fact. You can actually look it up on the FBI website. All right. I mean, it's an absolute truth. If you, all right, the last seven school shooters identified as transgender, right? I'm just like the man that tried to kill Trump identify or well, I guess it's, I don't know. The the man that tried to kill Trump identified as a transgender. 80, like, it's almost 90% of gun violence, right, is done by the left, people that vote Democrats. So if you want to curtail, all right, gun violence, how about you just not sell guns to Democrats? Because all of these Ooh. people, I know, isn't it? But no, you can look it up. It's a fact. All of these people that do this stuff are confused liberals. I'm sorry, but that's just a fact of life. But, you know, you have to give me something else, all right? Um, I'll tell you something that, that will shake you to the core. You murder more babies in this country than people die from gun violence, even in wars these days. Yeah. We're murdering more children than that are dying in a war. Now, that's crazy. So I'll tell you what. I have something that might be considered an assault weapon. All right. You all stop killing babies and you can have it. And I pay good money for it. It's customized. Right. How about that? That's a good deal. Yeah, but <laughs> you guys are not. You but know, you're not going to do that. You won't no, even consider it. There's no willing to compromise. Yeah. Okay. All you want to do is uh, take away without realizing what you're giving away. Yep. Okay, you're giving away your right to protect yourself and your family. You're giving away the right to protect. And here's the thing. They're okay with that because they think be, uh, people are okay with you, our guns being taken away. First of all, because most people, I believe, don't understand how a person handles weapons that knows what they're doing. Correct. And most gun owners know what they're doing, and so they know how to handle the weapon. I also think that most of these people don't understand what they're giving up okay they are afraid and uh they don't they had they have lost the ability to think through all the all the consequences yeah. of their decisions but yeah you know, it's just do? it is an important part of the constitution all right and if you use your head and you can think this out you know that a legal gun owner like me i'm not a criminal I've been through so many background checks to purchase firearms, okay? It's not a joke, all right? It's every time you purchase a firearm. The gun show loophole is not what you think it is. It's some dude in a parking lot selling, all right? Now, the whole problem when they talk about all these things is they want to register all these guns so they know where to confiscate them. Now, you look at Kamala Harris, all right, or just the left. In she's all, oh, we're gun owners, right? But she's so two-faced, she says different things in front of different people, all right? She campaigned for the longest time, oh, I smell it, uh, on gun confiscation. Now, all of a sudden, she says, me and Tim are gun owners. We don't want to come after your guns. What are you going to believe? All right, I lived in California, and I know these people can't be trusted. Well, we're just going to pass this law and that. No, uh-uh. Then you make it just ridiculous. And let me tell you, a good man with a gun living next door to you is way more valuable than the popo.
all right? It's just a fact. But, uh, yeah, the, the Bill of Rights is something that the Democrats want to get away with. I've actually heard the politicians, including Kamala Harris, say that freedom of speech is getting in the way of us governing, okay? Now, that's nasty. That is dangerous. Yes. And I'm talking to, I guess, you know, most... Most churchgoers, I would say, they're probably uh, pretty liberal, pretty uh, conservative, and they yeah. have their own ideas about guns and stuff. So I guess it's not so much them. But the thing is, uh, when a population is disarmed, they can sub- they can uh, bully you into submission with the threat of because no one yeah. is going to retaliate yeah. towards them. Okay, nobody's going to say. Uh, you know, we don't like this law, and the old, the the United States Constitution gives you uh, the right to redress of grievances. Correct. Okay, so you can go ahead and talk about, you know, you can uh, go sue somebody, go to court, and get your case heard, and get uh, justice and satisfaction for uh, uh, what is it, something that they have done illegally towards you, yeah. but. If you have been paying attention, that is not so much the case anymore, okay? We are not having equal justice for everybody in this country. All you got to do is watch television, watch everything. But when, when, when the Second Amendment right is gone, they don't have to redress any grievances. They just can show up with the guns and say, you're done. Right. Here's, here's the one thing that just is absolutely the silliest thing that the left says, right? Now, there's school shootings. Your obvious solution to school shootings is put security guards, armed security guards, in the schools by the doors, all right? And they go, oh, no, I don't want guns by my children. Why not? Cops are driving up and down the street. And they're armed. Or, right? Or I mean, it's it's that's the easiest solution. Because, but you don't want the easiest solution. You want your solution. I'm sorry. And, they, uh, and in California, okay? I don't know about here. Yeah, here too. Mm, I want to say they are, but they're probably not. The DMV. Yeah. Or where you go get yeah. your driving license. There you go. They're fully armed. Armed guards. guards. Okay. And the courthouse. And the, armed the court, guards. Armed guard. Metal and, detectors. Yeah, you're not allowed to bring in a gun and they're only there. <laughs> <laughs> go to you know, come on. So they are oh the social security office we went the other day. Yes. On guard. Uh I mean think about it. So they think of themselves more important than your children. You listen to that phrase for my safety. What about my safety? You have a gun. All right. And look, I already know I don't trust law enforcement anymore. I absolutely don't. They are willing to kill you over a city ordinance, all right? They are willing to arrest you, drag you out of your house. They show up on your front porch like the Nazis. But if you call them for protection, they're not going to be there till it's done. So I don't trust them. So when they use that catchphrase for my safety, that scares the heck out of me. Because they're willing to do it. Yeah, your safety is no more important than my safety. And yeah. if you're afraid to do the job, you should get another job. Yeah, find something else to do. They're but I, I mean, the police are important. They're probably the most important, especially as population grows. They're the most important part of our society. We should put them on a pedestal and we should just, every time a cop goes by, you should buy him a donut, give him a cup of coffee and <laughs> shake his hand. Yeah. But the problem is the way they're trained. Yeah. This training is ridiculous. All right. I mean, when is the last time you saw anybody get arrested without getting his butt kicked? Yeah, it's there. It, it, it's ridiculous. No. Uh, violence is always met with violence. And when they approach you and walk dead up on you, all right, that triggers something in a man, in a real man. It's fight or flight. When someone comes up and gets into my face, that is exactly what's that, what is being triggered. You don't have to do that. All right. You can be polite, you know, but you're not. You get right up in my face. I'm like, no, I don't like that. I don't trust you now. And that's what I'm saying. Their training needs to stop. And that whole phrase for my safety. What about my safety? All right. That leaves you the only person with a gun in the conversation. And I already told you, I don't trust you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So So we need to work on this. Yeah. I think that uh, 
Yeah, they should hold they, seminars or something. I don't only, know. I think the only way forward is yeah. education. Education of the children, education of the people, to teach them, uh, hey, look, uh, there, there's no threat there. It's actually for your protection. And you definitely want people to be able to protect because yeah. you understand that the freedom of to, to the Second Amendment protects your ability to do to say all those vile, yes. disgusting things you say on the internet. That does, yeah. It yep. protects your ability to parade around and chops and uh, but, your yeah. butt hanging out and all that. That's what the Second that's the Second Amendment does. It protects your First Amendment, which you guys, um, you guys, yeah. uh, saw, they said the Democrats abuse. Abuse left it. Left and right. You use it and abuse it, and that's okay, you know? Yeah. But... And we have the right to turn away and not look at but, it, but... Yeah, but here's the thing. Back to blue. Absolutely. I firmly support the police. How about the police start backing the Constitution and supporting citizens, all right? But uh, as far as the Second Amendment, I mean, this is ridiculous, all right? And I think that it's these young people, you keep hearing these catchphrases, and they're designed just for that. You have a dishonest media that misrepresents everything, all right? Yeah. Now, I like it. This time during the election, you can look at all this confusion happening, and I think this is the best thing in the world. Why? Because now we have a little bit of free speech, and we can report all these irregularities before voting day. Last time, Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook and the Twitter people, if you issued any complaint whatsoever, they would shut you down and what it called, they would suspend your account and uh, give you a timeout in the corner like you were a child. But now we're actually getting live feeds of all the irregularities. And I just want to ask one question. Why are all these irregularities going against the conservative side? Why is it when the voting machine malfunctions, it malfunctions in Kamala Harris's favor? I'm just curious. Thanks. That's why we need the Second Amendment. Yes, right. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to understand, you look at Germany and you look at France and England. Oh, my God, these people have lost. In England, they arrest people for silently praying, all right? Think about that. You're standing on the street corner or on the street, and you're in, in a moment of silent prayer, and they come up and arrest you. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's now, what happens to population with no guns. Now, you guys keep saying, keep thinking, well, if we can regulate, no religion, no religion. But you got to understand. It's not the religion. The, the, the Democrats, they're uh, the... The leftists, the woke people, they have their own religion. Yeah. It's called wokeism. Yeah. Okay. That is their religion. And they worship at the feet of convenience. Yes. And there, that's where they sacrifice their children. Okay. At the feet of convenience. Yeah. But they, you have your own beliefs, very yeah. strong and very, and, and you, you're willing to sacrifice this country for that. We're just not willing to sacrifice yeah. the country for our beliefs. We believe that our beliefs this is the greatest help, country, right? Yeah, help this country thrive it and does. move forward. So, let us have our Second Amendment rights, so we can protect your First Amendment rights. Right. There you go. Anyway, everybody, this is just an open conversation. All right, but I, I keep hearing this, and common sense has never entered the room. Okay. No. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's insanity, right? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, think your problems through, okay? But, you know, good men with guns, honest men, non-criminals with guns are not your problem. And to think that, oh, it's a trickle down, good men with guns buy guns and they sell them to criminals. That's BS. Never happens. Never happens, all right? <laughs> It's but, like okay. Yeah. Let, let me let me put it this way. So you you know do you know any nerdy nerds out there that collect uh, figurines and things like yeah. that and and they are uh, hoard them like they're their precious children? Yeah, that's a gun nut. 
Okay. There's <laughs> no way they just give uh, them away or sell them no. for cheap to anybody. Okay. Every single gun is a precious child. Yeah. Okay. Look, I'm a gun collector. <laughs> All right. I'm I, married to a gun. Yeah, I, I, I collect guns. Okay. I buy guns that I like. All right. And I like to display my guns. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I belong to a gun club. All right. I'm a registered Republican. That probably scares you all. I'm a church man. I firmly believe in Christ. I'm not a bad person. I'm a good person. Okay. And most people that own firearms are good people. Okay. You might disagree with them politically, but they're good people. All right. They have morals. They have good judgment. All right. Now the left who is obsessed with baby killing all right so, they're obsessed with pornography they're obsessed with hollywood and the sex cult i mean this whole epstein thing come on who's in power these people should have released this we should have had justice by now now you've got p diddy and all of these hollywood celebrities are out there endorsing kamala harris why in my opinion they don't want to go to jail because they've all been to p diddy's house uh, look, yeah. whatever you're doing with your life, yeah. I, oh, God is going to judge you, not, yeah. not us. Not me. But here's a good way to judge yourself. I, I stole that this from somebody. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your phone. If you would be embarrassed to have anybody go through your search history on your computer or yourself or whatever, you need to change something about your life, okay? Uh, what will you find in my search history? It's really boring, okay? And here's here's a secret for you parents. When my kids were when our kids were little, occasionally I would just walk up and say, "Give me your phone." They give it up, and I go through the <laughs> history, and I'd be like, "Oh my God, my kids are nerds and they're boring." Look, when I come home, I I set my phone down on the table, all right, and uh, I'm not always around the phone. Ever even my daughter has the number to my phone. All right. Yeah. If my phone rings, she can enter that. What do you call it? A code of some a sort? Pin code. A pin code. She can enter the pen and answer my phone, which she does quite often. Why? Because there's nothing in there that my daughter would be surprised or shocked to see. There's nothing in my phone that I would not let my daughter look at. Think would. about this, yeah, right? If you got that worry in your mind, that, you might rethink your life, Fred. If my wife is in the kitchen or doing laundry and her phone rings, uh, yeah, I'll answer it. Why? Because I have her pen code too. Exactly. All right. He, I, this is also a Dr. Feldman. This is uh, a no one. He who has nothing to hide hides nothing. Dr. Phil stole that from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I heard it from okay. Dr. Phil. <laughs> but anyway, everybody, look. Once you give a write up, you can never give it. Yeah. You never get it back. No. You absolutely will never get it back. And it will start a a yeah. chain reaction. You give you give that one write up, many more will fall. Toxic right masculinity. That's that's BS. There's no such thing as toxic masculinity. There's masculinity and there's feminism. All right. That's just it, you know they they brainwash you this way, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a woman's right to choose. Oh, absolutely. Put a condom on him. All right. Maybe yeah. keep your legs together. Your choice you is to be. Choose. Yeah. Your choice is to be made before you kill a baby. All right. I mean, oh, hate speech. Yo, you mean you mean freedom of speech or someone that disagrees with you? I mean, the left is really big on. They used to call it hate speech. Now they call it misinformation. When in fact, if you fact check the media, they're the ones doing it. Anyway, we're running out of time. God bless. God bless. I got to check them. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.